Hello everyone, MacBook Air A1466. This is from my repair shop. The technician said is a fuse, backlight fuse. So he did bring the fuses here. And they just be sure. Yeah, the screen it's kind of you can see the display. Yeah. yeah, you can see the display, but it's no backlight. So let's take it apart. Hopefully, it's just the fuse, as the customer said. Because, you yeah, know, it's just a fuse, then uh, you give them the price for the fuse, and you open it, and you find uh, something else. And the time they don't want to pay for the the extra job. So first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery. Well, this is the screen connector, and if we look around, we're gonna see this fuse, this guy here. So let's check it and see how it's go. The fuse is good. So the fuse is good. What is could be? So that spot is look like it's uh, some liquid damage over there. Sometimes if there is the the corrosion bridge using the solder iron with the flux is gonna remove that uh, bridge. Alright, let's plug the computer. Let me see if we are having any luck. No, I don't see the backlight. Still no backlight. Yeah, because the fuse is good, let's check uh, the, the schematic. This is a backlight section. The PP Bus 3GH, it's come from here. It's go to the fuse. Our fuse is good. It's go to these two resistors. Then we have a MOSFET here. Then from that MOSFET, it's go to this coil. It's go to this diode. Then it's go to the screen. Between this coil and this diode, we have this IC. This is a backlight booster IC. So the voltage here, uh, the PP bus 3GH, it came like a nine volt. It's came to this coil, and this IC is gonna short this coil to make the the voltage boost higher so it's going to go up to 19 volt or 24 that's what this IC do and from there is the diode is just like uh, for the filter so we're going to check we're going to check this MOSFET for short we're going to check these two resistors for open, we're gonna check this coil and we're gonna check this diode. If all are okay, we are gonna replace this IC and we see if that's gonna fix the problem. So, this is our fuse. So number one, that's the nine volt input. And number two is the output is go to this resistor here. Then from this resistor to this resistor. So the battery is already disconnected. And we go to the diode mode. So the fuse is good. These pins here, one of them is the gauge, one of them is the, the source. 
Let's go to the resistance mode. These two resistors, one of them is a 300 kilo ohm, one of them is 140 kilo ohm. So 300, 147 kilo ohm. So two resistors are good. So these two resistors are good. Next, we're gonna check the coil and the diode. We check them for short and for open. So from this IC, it's go to the coil. It's go inside the board. Then it's go to this bed. You see it? Yep. To here, to the coil. Then from the coil to this diode. So let's check the coil if it's open. Coil is good. Any shirt to the ground? No. The coil is not shirt to the ground. The diode itself, 200 ohm, and is not shorted to the ground as well. Both sides are not shorted to the ground. All right, from the diode. Okay, let's go look in the other side of the board. So this is the the IC, the backlight IC. So it's connected to the coil and diode. So we just have to try this IC first.
so I put the board and the computer and let's plug it so we can see the green light that the fan is on we hear the sound I think he did see the backlight yeah there is a you see that the light flash yeah there is a backlight so it's fixed yep we have the picture so the backlight works it fixed it wasn't the fuse as the the technician from the other shop said but it was the backlight I see so that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you again